Chief Minister, now we know why you're among the most progressive chief ministers in the country and why you won a re-election uh, just two years ago. Let's again, uh, for the progressive steps that he's taken, give the Chief Minister another warm round of applause and for inaugurating the South Conclave of India today. Thank you for agreeing to uh, you know, a few questions uh, on this. Uh, I listened to what you had said, and you've really had innovative steps or taken innovative steps to develop uh, the state for the future, particularly the infrastructure sector. What I'm asking is, what about mega investments? How can you attract them? What are you doing to promote the service sector? And of course, the overall theme, which is how do you improve employment in Kerala and ensure probably a reverse brain drain. Kerala has a lot of brain drain going outside. Is it possible for you all to hold your own people here and give them the jobs that they want? Thank you. The main challenge is the paucity of land in Kerala. Yeah, that's a problem, yes. <clears throat> we have the coast on one side and right. the hills on the other. Right. In between, there is plenty of wetland and forest land as well. Right. 44 rivers. <laughs> so in reality, there is only about 35% of the overall area of Kerala is available for people's use. Right. Still, we are able to make remarkable progress in industry. Hmm. For example, consider the year of enterprises scheme, which I had mentioned in my speech. Yeah. Through the year of enterprises, Kerala has introduced the best practice for the whole country. It definitely points to the massive change taking place in Kerala's industrial and employment sectors by harnessing our strengths in IT, BT, electronics, tourism, healthcare, etc., we are transforming Kerala into a knowledge economy and an innovation society. Well, we wish you all the best on that. But uh, there is, uh, as we have seen recently, the floods that have been there, the pandemic uh, that Kerala had to face, and it has put an enormous strain on your finances, given the fact that though you've brought down the debt, it is still very high. How do you propose to address this serious financial concern that is there in reducing the debt, get debt and getting more finances to fund your development projects that you talked about? I had already mentioned how robust Kerala's economy is during the inaugural address. The fact that we have increased our revenue and managed our expenses is amply evident in how Kerala would up the previous financial year. Despite many expressing apprehensions that Kerala's treasury would come to a standstill in March, we were able to tide over without any major difficulty. Since the financial year 2021, Kerala's own revenue and total revenue have increased by rupees 32,000 and rupees 35,000 crores respectively. Kerala's own revenue is 65 percent of our total revenue. Wow. This is far better than the national average of 55 percent. The debt to GSDP ratio <clears throat> has been brought down from 39 percent to 34 percent. We plan to move ahead in the same direction with renewed vigor. However, it is concerning that our borrowings are being further restricted. It has already been brought down from 5% of the GSDP to 3%. Now restrictions are sought to be imposed even beyond the purview of the FRBM Act. And by misquoting the Constitution, such excesses will affect all states. We will have to stand together and find a way out. I know we are short of time and you have to go to another appointment. Uh, my final question to you is about tourism. And we are in this beautiful place, Kovalam, you told me outside you're planning to develop. What is your, uh, you know, major plans that you have up ahead uh, to attract international travels, uh, travelers back to Kerala, apart from domestic travelers? Kerala tourism has secured a pride of place in international tourism circuits. 
We have been featured in the New York Times as one of the best tourism sports in the world. Prior to COVID, we had record numbers in both domestic and international visitors, around 1.88 crores and 12 lakh respectively. <clears throat> the tourism sector had generated a total revenue of rupees 45,000 crore in 2019. Right now, we are at the pre-COVID levels in the number of domestic tourists. Kerala's tourism is surely on its way back. Interventions like caravan tourism, heritage tourism, destination wedding tourism, etc., are being spearheaded. So many people are for, coming for the wedding here <laughs> in Kerala. They are part of our responsible tourism initiatives which address even local needs. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Minister. This might be our first conclave here, but it's not the last. We're going to yes, keep yes. coming back, and okay, we particularly okay. wish your state all the, the all very right. best. Let's give the Chief Minister a very warm round of applause for this. Welcome. Always you are welcome. Thank, Thank you so much, you. sir. Thank you.